Okay, hello everybody, it's Irene Skiffer. How are you guys doing today? I'm here with my buddy EV0978. Hey, yo. So today we have the uh, Celestial Storm Pack. We just bought this, uh, so let's see what we have inside. It's going to be pretty interesting. So as I get the plastic open, you guys can sort of see the sort of things to expect. Um, we're going to open up the eight packs that come inside, but it also comes with a bunch of different things. Mm -hmm. um, some energy cards, a player's guide, uh, some sleeves. So uh, we'll probably divvy that up after the video's made. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so first up, we've got the player's guide. Um, oh, it looks like it tells you all of the cards that you can potentially find in the set. And then tells you how to use some of the cards. I wish they would have done that when Pokemon originally came out. <laughs> right. And then we've got a really nice quality box. Mm -hmm. uh, great for storing cards later. That can probably just go to Jeff. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. This is probably just packaging, right? Yeah, it's just to divide them up. Uh -huh. Okay, I see right for the back, I see some dice. Right, so these are some really nice dice. I think. Oh, yeah. Ooh, especially that big, nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it in the package for now. We've got a little a token to say it's used the GX move, I believe. Um, hmm. And poison and burn. Those, uh, are, those are higher quality than they used to be. Uh, they used to be just like cheap pieces of cardboard you had to. Yeah, is that actual plastic now? Yeah, yeah. Here, I'll take that and you can feel it. Yeah, because the ones I got are just. Cheap, cheap, flimsy cardboard. Yeah. Let's see. Oh, wow, yeah, that, that is quality-grade plastic right there. That is nice. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about the cardboard bending or anything. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, here are some dividers and a code card, which we won't show. Mm-hmm. Uh, then this looks to be the energy and the sleeves. And nice. The sleeves have a nice little foil sheen on the gold. Those, that always makes them look a little bit nicer than just straight up plastic or anything else, really. It has that nice shine to it. All right. So uh, there are eight packs. And I say um, we take turns opening and picking the pack that we once open. And we'll flip. Uh, do you want heads or tails? Mm, I'll go with heads. Heads it is. Okie dokie, hand Good the first phone pick. over. So, we're going to start with uh, this one right here. So, 10 additional game cards. Nice, nice. And in theory, according to Lovable Hatsumiku, uh, if we get a card that kind of looks like this, we're in for a treat. If not, and if this is green... Then, yeah, we're not going to get anything good. Don't cut the card. That's so cringy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm the master of doing that. <laughs> and it's green. So. Not good. Not probably going to be a good start. So let's see. We have a Beldum. Very, very nice. No single smash, which does 50 damage. We have a Wilmer. Uh, let's see. Spinark. A modern day retrofitted Lavatar. <laughs> Slaw. Uh, the Mast Royal. Ooh, Legendary. Or. I guess if this is a pseudo legendary Reggie Rock. Uh, Fist Energy card, which is fighting. Uh, Hustle Belt. Uh, you're going to have to help me pronounce the name on that one. Ori Corio. Ori Corio, okay. And Tropius. All right. So, not, not the best of Star I mean, Reggie Rock's decent, but hopefully we get some nice foiled cards, some very, very nice ones. All right. It's my turn to pick a pack. Yep. Um, let's see. I think I'll go for the stack attacker here. Let's see what we got. 
Okay, same one as me, but let's see if we get good cards. It's another green. Eesh. So, probably not good, according to our theory. Uh, I mean, not our theory, but... Love how to make this theory. Yeah. So, got Shell gone. And I like that Ooh. art. Oh, I guess they need to hold it up to the camera, right? Yeah. Ooh, it looks like they kind of knitted it almost. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Uh, Lantern. Nice. Uh, Grovile. Ooh. I like that art, too. I like Grovile. Uh, Dark Energy. Del Mies. Ooh. Anchor Pokemon. I haven't gotten that one before. Ooh, Foil Rare Candy. Ooh, nice. Uh, Mudkip. Gotta love Mudkips. Mudkip. Shove it. Sneasel. And I'm getting a lot of those now. Yeah, it's another <laughs> classic art, looks like. Mm hmm. Surskit. <gasps> Surskit. And Slugma. Ooh. I don't have that so, many Slugmas. Actually, I don't have most of these cards that are in here, so that's nice. Mm hmm. Alright. Okay, and back. Brendan, and let's see, uh, I'll go with Rayquaza, because Rayquaza's awesome. He was my favorite legendary from Pokemon Emerald. And the only legendary that I legitimately obtained. <laughs> <laughs> In my defense, though, I was never allowed to go through those special events to get the Pokemon, so I feel like I'm entitled to them. <laughs> mm. Another green. <laughs> okay, we got a Beast Ball, which isn't too bad. I guess, I mean, I never actually used those. Uh, another cool knitted art style, which I, I do like. I do like the clay ones a little bit better, though. So. Underground Expedition. Uh, steel. Uh, ooh. Deoxys. Ooh, nice. I like nice. that. And it's uh, the Deoxys speed form. Love it. Very nice. Uh, okay, we got a shiny foil kind of looking card for Loudred. All right. And some of those I kind of like, some I don't. It all depends on the type of card. Look, Wizards go with it. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Oh, hold on. Is that a... Uh... <laughs> it, it, what's it running from? It's running from... Uh... Beware. <laughs> <laughs> That's adorable. Uh, Trico to go with the Agrovial. Nice. Uh, another Trico. Oh, different art. Mm-hmm. Let's compare those. I kind of like Very that cool. one because he looks more relaxed, natural. Uh, ooh, here is a Wishmar with the knitted style. Nice. And Bagon. Bagon. All right, let's go with the Shellgon. Nice. All right. Okay, hand him back over here. Um, I'm going to go for this Jirachi. Ooh, Jirachi, Jirachi. Green. Oof. Doesn't look like we're gonna be getting anything good so far. Nah. Uh, anyways, we go Beast Ball. Again with the Beast Ball, not bad. Shell God. With the Knitted. Again. Underground Expedition. Again. <laughs> I think these are the same uncommon cards that you just opened. Yeah, so far it is. Uh, steel. steel. Uh, yeah. Okay, uh, this, is, uh, <laughs> this is creepy. Are, are these the same Beast Ball? Shellgun, Underground Expedition, Steel. If the next one's Deoxys, I swear. Grumpig. Okay, good. I mean, it's psychic <laughs> type. <but. laughs> uh, Foil Fisherman. I like Ooh, his art. That actually does look pretty good. I kind of like how the art styles evolve as the years go on. Yeah. I got the Wismer again. Please don't. Trico. Trico. Wismer. I, that's almost the exact same pack that you just opened. What the heck is that? But it's supposed to be one Pokemon. Yeah, it, it, it's the the only difference was you got the foil Loudred and Deoxys, 
and I got the foil fisherman and grumpig. Otherwise, <laughs> the packs were exactly the same. And I've noticed that Pokemon's done that with a lot of their cards. Like, you pay good money for them, and then you just pretty much get half the same cards again. Uh, it's that, like, try to mix them up with more variety, yeah. or... That sucks. Let's All see. right. I'm gonna go for Blaziken here. Green. Uh, I wish you weren't right, little blah. I hope you meant that green was actually good and white was bad. Because <laughs> then we would have nothing but good cards. <laughs> Let's see, we have... Trophius. Horikorio. Looks like it's a similar pack to that earlier one. Mm-hmm. Hustle Belt. Lighting. Okay, different. Swamp work. Very nice. Okay, here we got a shiny foil card. Ooh, Gorbis. Very pretty. Mm-hmm. Slack off. Pink butt. Okay, so like these are a lot of the same cards, but. Larvitar. There's just like two card differences. Yeah, uh, that's annoying. <laughs> it, it is. And this is how the last few packs have been that I've bought. Uh, okay, Whalmer and Beldum. Again. <laughs> All right. Well, let's hope for something different. We got three more left. Um, now we got... Let's see. I already opened a Jirachi, so I'll let you get the other one. I'll go for the Rayquaza. Okay. Watch it be the same exact cards, folks, but two different cards. <laughs> all right, all right. And... Ooh, it's white. Ooh, let's ooh, see what happens. Okay. And let's see if it holds true. So, switch. Nice. Lantern. Mm-hmm. Lombre. This is where it would come in. Nope, no, sorry. <laughs> Lunala. Foil. Ooh. Very nice. It, it's not like an EX or GX or anything, but... That is still, definitely nice. It's a nice card. Um, and then foil Boltzoi. Oh, nice. Something naturally different. <laughs> and then Chen Chu matches that lantern. Metatite. Nice. Torchic. Got a little Torchic. Yeah, angry little Torchic. <laughs> Alolan Radita. What, what is that art? That's an interesting art style. Yeah, it, it looks sort of 3D, but it's actually not. Huh, I kind of like that. Yeah. And then Skitty. Okay, so we actually did get a pretty decent card in there. Yeah, yeah. So that, that Lunal is the best one we've gotten so far. Mm-hmm. That is actually pretty decent. So, so far, the theory is holding true. Okay. Or right, actually, I opened this one, so we're going to open up Jirachi. They made these easier to open. <laughs> no, he's cutting it again. <laughs> okay. Well, something went flying. What was it? Oh, just the code card? It's green. How? Let's see. Masquerade. Yeah. I, mean, I kind of like that they bring back the old art style, but well, it just doesn't feel right. It, if you notice, like some of the arts are actually straight from older sets, like mm-hmm. from the like they EX Hole and Phantoms. Like they copied and pasted it? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Cartana. That's my favorite Ultra Beast, so that's very nice. Huh. Mm. <laughs> that sort of looks funny as a foil. Um, by the way, it has ice power. <laughs> it's my kit. Um, oh. <laughs> Sticking out its tongue at you. <laughs> Torchic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cacnea. Cacnea. Nice. And? Cool pin. And this one's actually a clay model. 
Yeah. Which I definitely like because they took that much time out to actually mold it out of clay. Yeah. That's why I like those so much. Yeah. They're very nice. I, I, I used to collect them back in fifth grade. I used to give them all my clay cards. <laughs> and then I got them all back. <laughs> or almost all of them. This, yeah. This time, please, you two both open it and I'll do the camera, okay? <laughs> uh. Um... So this is the last pack for the box, but I bought an extra one. Uh, if we want to include that in the video, uh, let's try to keep it all with one set. All right, since that's what Loverable Hot to Meekin does. Got it. So we will open this up, and it's a green. So mm. we only had one white, and it was with the Slunala, which uh, was the most decent card in the pack. Let's see what we got. Another switch, beast ball, and Lysia. Okay. Uh, got a fairy energy. Reggie ice. Ooh, Reggie rock and Reggie ice. Very nice. Now we just need Reggie steel. Ooh, foil bayonet. I kind of like that. Yeah, looks good. Mm-hmm. Uh, full torb. Nice. Wismer, running from Beware again. <laughs> Trico. Another Trico. Yep. The same exact one. And Wismer again. Okay. So it's two Trico and two Wismer in that one. So overall, what would you say about the decks? Good or bad? Um, you know, uh, it's tough to classify because we didn't look at the, the uh, you know, the... <laughs> Attack moves, but we did get some nice arts and some really nice cards to collect. It sucks that a couple of the packs copied the almost entirely. <laughs> but, <laughs> the exact same, just with two different cards. Yeah. Huh. But, uh, yeah, uh, everything else is pretty high quality. I really enjoy the dice. Mm -hmm. the, the foils are what I just... They keep, I just can't stop looking at them because they're so detailed. They're very nice and shiny. And these have improved over what they used to be. Oh, definitely, definitely. And then, of course, we got these here. Which, again, that's high-quality plastic right there. It's not cheap, cheap cardboard. So. And then, there's the GX1. Now, I don't, I've never seen this one before, so this must be with the new series. Yeah, I think... It, it's used uh, to mark that you've used your GX move uh, if you play a GX hmm. Pokemon. Because I don't ever remember them having a GX chip. Well, GX is newer. Uh, mm. Like, Gen 7 new. So. Okay, so still somewhat new. Yep. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, catch us next. We're going to uh, look at uh, his friend Hatsune's uh, video and react to what she opened. And compare mm -hmm. our box to hers. And as normal, she's probably going to win because every single video I've seen, I don't know, I guess it's those Canadians that get the good cards. <laughs> and we get duplicate after duplicate after duplicate. <laughs> <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video again. Thank you, EVO978, for joining me in this video. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please subscribe, leave comments, and as always, have a nice day. Live, love, and game on. Peace.